Yovhelim Jubilees 11. And in the 35th Jubilee, in the third week, in the first year thereof, Reu took to himself a woman, and her name was Ora, the daughter of Ur, the son of Kesed. And she bore him a son, and he called his name Sora. In the seventh year of this week, in this jubilee. And the sons of Noah began to war on each other, to take captive and to slay each other, and to shed the blood of men on the earth, and to eat blood, and to build strong cities and walls and towers. And individuals began to exalt themselves above the nation, and to found the beginnings of kingdoms, and to go to war people against people, and nation against nation, and city against city, and all began to do evil, and to acquire arms, and to teach their sons war. And they began to capture cities, and to sell male and female slaves. And Ur, the son of Kesed, built the city of Ara of the Kazdim, and called its name after his own name, and the name of his father, and they made for themselves molten images, and they worshipped each the idol, the molten image with they, which they had made for themselves. And they began to make graven images and unclean simulacra, rather simulacra, and malignant ruakt, assisted and seduced them into committing transgression and uncleanness. And the prince of Mastema exerted himself to do all this, and he sent forth other ruachot, the, those which were put under his hand, to do all manner of wrong and sin, and all manner of, tra of transgression, to corrupt and destroy and to shed blood upon the earth. For this reason he called the name of Sorah, Sarug, for everyone turned to do all manner of sin and transgression. And he grew up and dwelt in Ur of the Kazdim, near to the father of his woman's mother. And he worshipped idols, and he took to himself a woman in the 36th Jubilee, in the fifth week, in the first year thereof. And her name was Melka, the daughter of Keber, the daughter of his father's brother. And she bore him Nekor in the first year of this week. And he grew and dwelt in Ur of the Kazdim. And his father taught him the researches of the Kazdim to divine and ogur according to the signs of heaven. And in the 37th Jubilee, in the sixth week, in the first year thereof, he took to himself a woman, and her name was Lyaska the daughter of Nestag of the Kazdim. And she bore him Tarak in the seventh year of this week. And the prince Mastema sent ravens and birds to devour the seed which was sown in the land in order to destroy the land and rob the children of men of their labors. Before they could plow in the seed, the ravens picked it from the surface of the ground. And for this reason he called his name Tarak, because the ravens and the birds reduced them to destitution and devoured their seed. And the years began to be barren, owing to the birds, and they devoured all the fruit of the trees from the trees. It was only with great effort that they could save a little of all the fruit of the earth in their days. And in this 39th jubilee, in the second week, in the first year, Tarach took to himself a woman, and her name was Edna, the daughter of Avram, the daughter of his father's sister. And in the seventh year of this week, she bore him a son, and he called his name Avram, by the name of the father of his mother, for he had died before his daughter had conceived a son. And the child began to understand the errors of the earth, 
that all went astray after graven images and after uncleanness. And his father taught him writing. And he was two weeks of years old. And he separated himself from his father that he might not worship idols with him. And he began to pray to the creator of all things that he might save him from the errors of the children of men and that his portion should not fall into error after uncleanness and vileness. And the seed time came for the sowing of seed upon the land, and they all went forth together to protect their seed against the ravens. And Avram went forth with those that went, and the child was a lad of fourteen years. And a cloud of ravens came to devour the seed, and Avram ran to meet them before they settled on the ground, and cried to them before they settled on the ground to devour the seed. And he said, Descend not, return to the place whence ye came. And they proceeded to turn back. And he caused the clouds of ravens to turn back that day, Seventy times, and of all the ravens throughout all the land where Avram was there settled, there not so much as one. And all who were with him throughout all the land saw him cry out, and all the ravens turned back, and his name became great in all the land of the Kazdim. And there came to him this year all those that wished to sow. And he went with them until the time of sowing ceased. And they sowed their land, and that year they brought enough grain home and eat and were satisfied. And in the first year of the fifth week, Avram taught those who made implements for oxen, the artificers in wood, and they made a vessel above the ground facing the frame of the plow in order to put the seed thereon. And the seed fell down therefrom upon the share of the plow and was hidden in the earth. And they no longer feared the ravens. And after this manner they made vessels above the ground on all the frames of the plows. And they sowed and tilled all the land, according as Avram commanded them. And they no longer feared the birds. <laughs>